It's about to go down. Stop what you're doing because you're now tuned in to the hottest sports show on the planet. You know who it is. You know the Smith Express Sports Show, hosted by yours truly, Christopher C. Smith. So, look, let's get straight into it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, NFL season coming in September. Are you guys excited? I'm a Dolphin fan, bro, so heck yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, what about you, Ryan? You know, most people here are Cincinnati Bengals fans. We're like an hour from Cincinnati, so we got a lot of Bengals fans. And, you know, Joe Burrow is back healthy. Everybody excited that they think he can get them back to the playoffs. So, yeah, man, I, I – one of my best friend's son plays for the Broncos, so I'm really excited about the football season coming right. up. That's, that, that's dope. That's dope. Is there, is there any exciting teams you think that's going to come up or, like, that, that, that had did a lot of transactions that you think is going to make a, a big improvement? Well, I mean, I, I think the Bengals might, you know, end up surprising some people with, with the, their, they've, what they've got in place. Uh, you know, I think Joe Burrow, he could be one of the best quarterbacks you know, surprising Tom Brady in the future if he, if he can just stay healthy. So I, I may be a little prejudiced because I'm a Bengals fan, but I, I really am excited about what they can do. Oh, that's dope. What about you, Jack? No, I actually agree with him, man. I, I actually like enjoy watching Cincinnati when, when Burrow's healthy. You know, he's awesome, man. And the team has, you know, they can do so well. But, but yeah, man, there's a lot of teams. That's what's cool. That's making it good again. It's not like one super dominant all the time. That's, that's what I'm all about, man. You know, just good football. Plus, again, obviously, it's been a long, long time since I was able to be happy about the Dolphins. So I'm just stoked, man, that we have something to cheer about finally. Uh, that, that's dope. That's dope. So what, like, oh, how do y'all feel about the Chicago Bears in general with all the moves they made? Do you think they got a playoff bound or how many games do you think they're going to win this year? <laughs> Talk to the pro. I hate the Bears. <laughs> <laughs> Talk it's to the crazy. Pros, it's crazy they put all that stock in Justin Fields that he was going to be their future. And what, after two seasons, they just move on, you know, cast him aside and, and, and move on and start with somebody else. So, you know, my the guy I do the show with is a huge Bears fan. So I we <laughs> suffer through him suffering most every season. Man, like, like how many games you got them winning this year? What did they win last year? Four. <laughs> no, nah, I probably said it, it was less than ten, I believe, like eight or nine. I, I don't know, man. Like I said, you're, they're 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 gonna start all over again. Uh, yeah. And that sucks, man, because I like Fields, bro. I thought he was gonna yeah. be good. I I thought the kid, you know, I I still think he's good. It's just something wasn't right. So something, something wasn't vibing there, man. But but I I don't know. I liked him. What what? What about you, Jack? How many games do you think Miami going to win? You think they're oh, playoff bound? For sure, bro. For sure, playoff bound <laughs> again. And seriously, like, not even just just because I'm a fan. It's just they really, you know, they have something special, man. Uh, they Everybody's doing something like, I don't know, obviously the, the Chiefs and all those tough teams that we got to go through, Baltimore, freaking, you know, but but it's just, I don't know, man. I think that, that they have a chance for real. And then again, you know me, bro. I don't know much about sports. I just, I'm that armchair quarterback on Sunday. I, I'm <laughs> wasted by the end of the game, so I can't even tell you what happened. <laughs> now, hey, I, I think Miami definitely got a chance. Uh, who, who all in their division? I, I think that um, with, if the quarterback could stay healthy, Tua could stay healthy, I think that they could definitely I, make some noise. I think it's the Patriots, the Jets, Buffalo, uh, and us, man, right? Who am I missing? Hey, you, you, you think they Super Bowl bound or they got ways to go? Nah, man, you know, half of me, hell yeah, Super Bowl bound, but I've been saying that since since Marino was there. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've just got to be honest, bro. And then the other half is like, hey, bro, chill, chill. You know, like they're going to do good, but yeah, it's just it takes a lot, bro, to win a Super Bowl and you got to stay healthy and just a lot of things. But yeah, I mean, for sure, playoffs. I think playoffs it should be good. Uh, what about you, Ryan? How you feel about the Bengals? You think they gonna um go far? Do you think they on um, Super Bowl back? Man, I I really do. I mean, they've 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 got the pieces in place. I think even last year it was gonna happen before he got hurt. So you know, like I like I said earlier, I think Burrow can be one of the best quarterbacks of our era uh, if he can just stay healthy. Kind of what Jack said about Tua. If Tua can just stay healthy, man. You know, it, it, those those quarterbacks they take get hit by a tank 
couple times a game, man, it wears and tear on your body. So if, they, if one of those guys can maybe make it through a season, yeah, either either team could do something this year. You mentioned the Bills, though. That's my son's team. You know, all the young guys, they they love the way the Bills play and throwing it around like that. So they, they may be your team to beat, Jack. No, absolutely. They're great, too. I mean, they take us out every year. Bro. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> So how y'all feel about the Cowboys? You think the Cowboys gonna do something or is it a, is it a raffle deck, Prescott? Please, man. <laughs> I can't stand the Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like anything about the Cowboys. I hope they lose every single game, and I just can't ever ever support the Cowboys. Damn. I think Dak Prescott is overrated. I just yeah. If they lose every game, I'm a happy man. Uh, holy that, cow. Hey, what happened? No. Oh, I just said, holy cow. That was real right there, uh, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what's it called? I don't know what it is. It's like when the playoffs come around, they cannot get over that hump. They they could they could have the most winning winning record in the NFL, but as soon as that playoff come and that real heat hit them, they fold every time. You know, I, I, I can't even watch ESPN on – during football season because they spent all they, they talk about Dak Prescott and the Cowboys every single show, every single day. Now I know it generates ratings for them. There's a lot of Cowboy fans out there, but if you're not a Cowboy fan, man, it drives you crazy. Cause that's all they talk about. It seems like all the time. Man. <laughs> like, is there any other team that, that, that you think is going to shock a lot of people? Like last year I was, I was really shocked about Detroit. I did yeah. not expect Detroit to, to come out swinging like that, especially making it as far as they did. Do you think they're going to be back or that that was just a one and done season? Well, I, I think they can repeat. I think they're, they're legit. They proved everybody wrong last year and I think they got everybody back pretty much. So yeah, I think they can do it again. Another team, there's a, a lot of Tennessee Titan fans in Kentucky, especially in Western Kentucky. You're right. You know, an hour or two hours away from Nashville a lot of Titans fans. Their quarterback is a former Kentucky University of Kentucky quarterback, Will Levis, who kind of took over because the other guys got hurt. So a lot of fans in our state really pulling for Will Levis and the Titans to finally maybe put something together this year. Uh, how many? What you, you think they're going to be playoff bound? Because what did they made the playoffs, right? Or no? Nah? Or it was close? I don't think. I don't think they made the playoffs last year. And I don't know if they can even this year, but they're going to at least. They're kind of building. I think they, you know they got some hope for the future down there for sure. That's the, that's the, how you guys feel about Philly. You think Philly will be back? The Eagles? Man, I, what do you think? They're, they're one of those teams too. They've got all, all the pieces. Man, they got you know the, a great quarterback. Got a good offense. They'll probably win a lot of games. But can they not choke in the playoffs? Kind of we talk about the Cowboys. These two teams kind of are famous for having good years but can't get it done in the playoffs a lot of times. Yeah. Same thing with Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how, how do you feel about Pittsburgh with Russell Wilson and um and the Bears quarter Justin Fields? You do you think that they're gonna make some noise this you year? You know, I I, I I used to be a big Russell Wilson fan. I mean I really did like him when he was with the Seahawks. But last year with the Broncos, like I I said earlier, one of my best friend's son plays for the Broncos and he kind of told us, he goes, kind of like what Justin Fields and the Bears, it just didn't click. Something just didn't work with Russell Wilson and the Broncos. So for that reason, I kind of hope he can finally have success at Pittsburgh and finally find himself, maybe get back to where he was playing when he was with the Seahawks. Because he's obviously talented and very athletically gifted. So I don't know, man. We'll see if he can pull it off in Pittsburgh. It did, it did not work for him in Denver. Oh, oh, man. So what, like, who is Denver's quarterback now? Uh. I can't even remember who it is. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure they're not going to make the playoffs. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't even know who their quarterback is. They're, they're not going to make the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> what, about the, what about the Jets? Like, how do you feel about the Jets with uh, Aaron Rodgers coming back? Well, I mean, I don't think you can count him out, right? I mean, he's still a superstar. He's still very, very talented. So now if he's back and – Again, can stay healthy. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta think the Jets could probably put something together. Who's all coming yeah. back from that team, though? Because you know, as a matter of fact, I'm just recently watching the uh, the hard docs of that, and like he's saying, man, if, if Aaron doesn't get hurt, bro, they have a lot yeah. of cool pieces. Who's coming back from that, though? Well, don't it seems like they got like everybody oh, back. Okay. Like, how many, 
then everybody kind of wanted to stick around to play with Aaron Rodgers and see if he can get it done. So I, I think they're, they're loaded. Yeah, I th that's another team then probably, man, to watch out for. That if they stay yeah. healthy, they, they got a lot of good people. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Wow. Uh, what about Green Bay or uh, Minnesota? You know, I think Jordan Love, I think he's a superstar in the making too, quarterback. Uh, he he kind of found himself about the middle of the year last year, seemed to kind of find himself and, and won some big games. So I, I believe, you know, he could probably do some damage up there too. I think as another good quarterback that's – really starting to blossom like Joe Burrow. I think these – and Will Levis, these guys are really, in a year or two, going to be just superstars. Yeah. Uh, who, who was it? Was it the Texans? Or the uh, – who, who was that that Kansas City knocked down that everybody had hope for? I can't even think of – Um, and they thought that they was going to beat Kansas City. What was that, that one team? Uh, it was like late in the playoffs. I, I forgot. You know who I'm talking about, yeah. Jack? My oh, brother. Yeah, uh, and everybody had hope for you gotta, him, but but he didn't show up. You, they they choked. You got to give me A, B, and C, bro. <laughs> well, <Damn. laughs> but, hey, how you how you feel about Kansas City? You think they go three feet? Uh, yeah, I mean they're they're yeah they're they're the team to beat. There's no doubt about it. For sure, you know it's yeah, the, the conversation begins and ends with Kansas City. I think once again. <laughs> that's that. That's dope. That's dope. Like, because um, what the last time a team three Peter was what? How long ago? Well, probably was it the Pittsburgh Steelers? Was that the last time that they did they win three in a row? Well, uh, Brady I, never did it. Or no? Wait, the the Cowboys didn't do it, right? I have no idea, man. That was before yeah. my time. Oh yeah, because I know. See, the only actually the only time I appreciated the Cowboys when all the University of Miami players were there and Jimmy Johnson and all that because they were from Miami, so. I kind of like their team, you know, but I don't remember if they won three in a row. But I know they won a lot. Yeah, they won a couple nice. of Super Bowls. Yeah. Yeah. The, well, and what the 49ers is? What? How do How do you guys feel about them? That's another good team, bro. Really good team. Yeah. Good and coach. Good team. Yeah. That quarterback is a diamond in the rough, bro, and the, that's the definition of it right there, bro. That. You uh, what? You, you think they're playoff bound? Or oh yeah. Or sure. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's what's up. Hey, uh, what about with the draft, uh, Marvin Harris Jr.? Uh, how y'all feel about him? You think? To me, I, I think the Bears should have kept Phil and drafted Mar Marvin Harris Jr. And then with the eighth pick, picks, you know, they could have got that same quarterback. Well, I mean, not the same quarterback, but a decent, respectful quarterback at that time. I, I think Marvin Harris Jr. is – he's going to be a Hall of Famer someday. I mean, he's obviously that good. He's got the pedigree. His dad was awesome. He was with the Colts. I saw him at Ohio State a couple times last year play. He's, he's just phenomenal. So, yeah, you want to put him on a team with a quarterback that can get him the ball and just throw it out there to him. So maybe Justin Fields could have finally developed a Bears that they've done what you just said, drafted, kept Fields and drafted Marvin Harrison Jr. So wow. uh, I think I think he's going to be a superstar. Yeah, yeah. I agree. And then I think with, with Fields, though, man, I think the thing is, again, bro, no matter what, it's just when something doesn't fit, bro, it doesn't fit. You can't put, you know, a round thing in, in a square box, bro. It's just not going to work, you know? So no sure. matter how hard you try, it was just something was not fitting right Yeah. There. Yeah. I mean, it was a lot going on with Chicago. Chicago really didn't want to invest or, you know, put their money where, where it should have been. You know, like they they kept doing a lot of stupid, goofy moves, and that's just the sports and well, sports in Chicago in general. Whether it's basketball, football, baseball, it's the same thing year after year. Cause well, we haven't been to the Super Bowl since what Walter Payton? No, no, no. I take that back. I take that back. Well, um, ha, huh, you know what I'm talking about when they play, when they faced the Colts, and it was Rex Grossman, the quarterback. Oh yeah, do you guys remember? Well, you mentioned, you know, Walter Payton, the, the Bears era. That's what I think all you Chicago fans, you're trying to get back to that. But, man, you're having, you know, <laughs> all the famers all over that team. You know, it's going to be tough to try to get there. But I think Bears fans man. think they got that team every year, don't they? Man, <laughs> especially if they if they win their first game, they are uh, the Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super yeah. Bowl. And then after that, the Bears will go. One for eighteen. The rest for the, and it's like, come on now. Uh, the Bears always, <clears throat> huh? No, no, no. I'm listening, man. I agree with you. 
Yeah, the Bears always been down. But, I mean, hopefully, like I said, this be the year that something could happen. They could turn around because they definitely made some uh, some investments and some, you know what I'm saying, some some picks that I think that's, that's worth – that that's worth, you know what I'm saying, looking at, you know what I'm saying, from the um, quarterback. I mean, not besides the quarterback, but, like, their running backs and stuff and their wide receivers. Yeah, like I said, our, our host is a big Bears fan, so we hear all the Bears stuff all the time. You guys always are excited when the season starts, and then two or three yeah. losses in a row, season's over for you, you know, it seems that way. Living, dying. Hey, then, you know what I'm saying? We already looking forward to the yep. draft. <laughs> you feel like, man. But, but Chicago, like I said, Chicago's supporters, the, the the fans never gave up on them. No matter how terrible the season was, it's always a sellout crowd. It's always, you know what I'm saying? Even if they know they go to the game just to lose, you know what I'm saying? Chicago's very supportive in general. Yeah, I went to uh... – a Bears preseason game last year when they played the uh, the Broncos mm -hmm. and place was packed. I mean, it was August, it was hot, hot as snot, and it was packed for this preseason exhibition game. You know what I mean? That's cool, though, man. Yeah. Yeah. And what's – so what? And they're adding games on to the season now, right, or no? Well, they play – they, they, they uh, limited from four preseason games to three. They only played three preseason games now. Okay. That's that's cool. That's cool. <coughs> so so I mean, the same amount hey, is just that now one more counts. <laughs> man, so is? like, oh, what with the um with the um that they have that, three preseason and then instead of the fourth one being a preseason, it counts towards the season now. Is that what it work? How it's working? I, I think they just cut it out. Oh. Yeah, and just stayed with. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you it. know. Oh, yeah, man, that makes sense. Less wear and tear on those guys. Yeah, right? I think that's a big man. part of it. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, hey, um, and with the early prediction, who you guys got the, got in the Super Bowl? You... <laughs> Dolphins, uh, Kansas City. Kansas City. Yeah, Kansas City versus who? Uh, <laughs> uh, you, I, I got to say the Bengals. That's my team. So, I'm going to, you know, the the, the Bengals maybe get, finally get back and win one. Yeah. My, hey, that was real close that one year. Yeah. Recently, yeah. Right? Yeah, two years ago they got the Super Bowl, but uh, kind of surprised everybody. Beat all these teams on the road. Beat Kansas City, Kansas City. Yeah. I think they beat Baltimore, Baltimore right. during that run, and uh, got there. So yeah, why not? Why not the Bengals? Oh yeah, you know what? Hey, that's the team I was talking about with the Baltimore Ravens. How you guys feel about them? You think they'll be back or no? Yeah, man, I think they're always a good team, brother. They're always a problem, especially with that quarterback that they have, bro, Lamar yeah. Jackson. Just to sick. Yeah. I mean, you know, imagine he's, he was the next Michael Vick improved. So, yeah, he's, he's amazing, bro. Man. You know, he played at the uh, University of Louisville, which is our big rival here in Kentucky. And, you know, we all didn't like him because he was a Louisville Cardinal. But I mean, you got to <laughs> like him, man. He's just a, he's, he's just great. He's fun to watch. You know, he, like you said, Michael Vick, he can explode at any time and run one or throw it deep. So, when you got him back there, they got a great quarterback. I mean, a great coach and Coach Harbaugh. So, yeah, they'll 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 be in the thick of things again for sure. Right. That you, you how, how do you guys like the Colts? You the Colts or the Falcons? Do you think that they're going to do anything this year or no? Well, the Colts get Richardson back, their quarterback that they drafted and got hurt like what in week four last year. He's back. You know, they have a high expectations. I think for him to try to do something well, but you know. We'll see. I, I wasn't that impressed with Richardson when he was in Florida, but they went ahead and, you know, made, made him, I like, think, the fourth pick in the draft two years ago. So we'll put a lot of money invested in him. Yeah. Well, what about the Patriots and the quarterback that they drafted? You you think that that's a new dynasty? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with them. Yeah, the, you know, they were just the team to beat for so many years. Now they're just, like, kind of still grabbing at straws, trying to find if they can get that magic back again. So, I don't know. We'll see how he does. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't know much about him. Or, 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 like, I pretty much haven't seen the highlights. But, like, the, the, this draft right here was full yeah. of quarterbacks that I, I think can, um, definitely had the potential to make a lot of noise. What about you? Jack, you, you, you was a football player, right? I played, man, a little bit, but Division Two, so not even not even worth talking about, bro. Uh, <laughs> they, 
And I'm just saying, salutes. You know what I'm saying? Just for making it. Nah, it was fun, you know man. It was definitely my dream, and that's what I would have wanted to do for sure. That that was the the goal, but just heck no, man. Realized real quick that no way, <laughs> didn't have the time, not even close. Man, like that, and then that's. I mean, to me, like football was cool. You know what I'm saying? I, I just never really had the, you know what I'm saying, the push or drive to to even make, try out for a team. So that's why I say I, I definitely salute you for even going out there. Because it's like now I get tackled, I, it, it's all bad. <laughs> nah, it was, I, I mean, I swear, man, if I could tell everybody, you know, in the world to play, it's, it's such a beautiful and amazing sport and the camaraderie that, it you know, it brings between you and the guys. And there's just nothing like it, man. And it teaches you a lot about life, bro. A lot. So it was really, it was really cool experiences, man. Yeah, it was beautiful. I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Man, that's dope. That's dope. So, so I mean, with the football underway, when did the season start? It starts in September, right? Or preseason is in August, right? Like mid-August? Uh, yeah, the, the NFL preseason has games like August 8th, 9th, or 10th, something like early it looked this year. Because I know the Broncos play in Indianapolis, so we're going up to the, watch that game, and it, it's like early August, okay. second week of August, I think. Nice. That's, that's dope. Hey, how you guys feel about the Jaguars? Do you think that they're going to be decent or no? Well, you know, they signed Trevor Lawrence to a big contract, a lot of, yeah. a lot of zeros in that contract. <laughs> so they're, they're playing. On him hoping to do well, and you know I like Jack standing up for the Division Two athlete, man. I was a Division Two baseball player, so yeah, we are. We're, we're not Division One, but by God, we love we play the game because of the love of the game. That's right. No, it was fun, man. It was beautiful. That's right. Congrats, bro. Because you know I wasn't easy, man, and they don't realize that. Dang, like to make it, bro. It's tough. It's, it is. It's yeah, a yeah. thin line, bro. The people that make it, and there are, and there's a lot of good ones out there that don't yeah. make it. Wow, that that, that that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, man. I, I mean, so like, w w w as far as you know, what I'm saying the season coming up, you guys got plans on going to any other games, or you know, what I'm saying I know you said you are you going to um the Indianapolis games, but any Miami games, any other? You know, so I just moved to Atlanta, man. So new city for me, and I, the Falcons. Yeah, so I, I I might go check out a Falcons game if I can. I would love to. Uh, you know, I think it's always fun and and then definitely it's funny you say that because actually my cousin you know his little kid now is like 10 and is a heavy heavy dolphin fan so he's like bro we got to get together and go watch a dolphin game you know and i i think it'll be special man that's dope that's dope. oh what's going how you think about how, how you feel about the falcons um they, they got cousins right as the quarterback yeah. they paid a hefty yeah. price for him yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, you know, man, if he can come here and, and do what he's been doing, and, and I don't know, man, that's a solid dude, you know, and not only as as a player, but as a human being, that guy looks like he's a solid person, you know, married, like he takes his stuff serious, you know, he's not messing yeah. around, so I think he can bring something special here, man, you know, I don't know much about the team, but I knew they needed a quarterback, the quarterbacks yeah. they had here before sucked, so, you know, who? Uh, 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 what was his name? And Reddick he went to the or coach. Riddick or something like that. But it's like, bro, you know, uh -huh. it's like going through the same thing and, and you're trying to put somebody where they don't belong again, you know? But, I mean, yeah. like, again, I don't know much, bro. But what I'm telling you what's up, what I think. <laughs> nah, I, I, I definitely feel you. Uh, the Falcons <laughs> used to be a, a, a great team around, what, 2010, 2011. You guys remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. With, uh, what was the Iceman? What was Matt his name? Ryan. Matty, yeah. Matty Ice. Yeah, uh, what's called what? They had uh, Mike Turner. And uh, uh, the, the, uh, tight end, bro, which, God, Hall of Famer. Um, oh, my gosh. Wow. I can't remember. Man, it, it's, it's been a lot. F football is, is definitely a great <laughs> uh, great sport. Because, like, you know what I'm saying? The, I feel like don't no other sport got a game that gets celebrated as big as the Super Bowl. Nah, man. You're you're wrong about that, brother. Soccer, soccer kills and okay. soccer destroys any sport that you can think of. Yes. You think so? Like I'm talking so. about, like I, as far as the I Super know Bowl, so, bro. Yes, like the Super Bowl yeah, I, gets watched by how many people, bro? People in the United States, and there's fans outside of it. But bro, soccer, like when you really see the big picture, it's the people that watch soccer. Soccer that don't watch football. Yeah, true, true, true. I mean, I know it's a sport here, and I love it. Trust me, I love it big time. But 
but yeah, if we're talking facts, I think at least that's I think that's a fact that soccer is way bigger. Soccer was true. I mean, you you might have a you you, you might have a, a, a point. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I definitely see other countries playing on soccer before they play football. I mean, it's just for example, if we know the just to to see how many people watch the Super Bowl, what is it, fifty, eighty, a hundred million? I don't know what what's the number. Do you know? I have no idea. Ryan, I, I just know I think you're right. I think you know the United States Super Bowl is ginormous, yeah. but worldwide, Correct. shoot, soccer is definitely bigger for a viewing audience of a big game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just it's just on the people alone, you know. Yeah. There's nothing like the Super Bowl for the United States sports fan, but yeah, worldwide, it's, soccer's a different level. <clears throat> yeah, like right now with to the Euro Cup and the Copa America, yeah. and then later on in 26, you're going to have the World Cup. Then you'll see, bro, that World Cup is nuts. Right. You're talking everyone in the world shuts down, and it's, bro, we're yeah. watching our country, like, pride, pride, bro. Yeah. I'm yeah, Colombian, nice. bro, so trust me. I'm excited because Colombia's playing now, you know, and they're doing well, that, man. So, so what, hey, I'm pretty sure as far as tickets-wise, though, like, tickets is to, to, to get into the – um. Uh, to the soccer. I don't know how close or how far, but my aunt, one of my aunts actually is just calling and she's like, hey, I'm going to the game. And I think they paid 350 bucks, 400 bucks for the ticket, you know, but it's, yeah. I think it's the semifinals, so it's a big deal. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Because <clears throat> yeah. like what, Super Bowl tickets um, oh. in, the, in the States is what? I'm sure, they, I've, I don't know if I'm lying, but I've heard that some of them are even $100,000 yeah. or more. Yeah, I think that's crazy. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't. I've never. I don't think in my dreams I have that kind of cash, bro. <laughs> Man, as, especially just to go yeah. to a game. Was, yeah, bro. It's just like, to, it, hey, how about you throw right. me ten thousand? Let me watch it at my house, bro. <laughs> Man. Man, that's crazy. Oh, what's the call? But hey, it's definitely an honor to get you guys on the game. I mean, to get you guys on my show. You know what I'm saying? Sure, Jack. Man. Thank you. And Ryan, nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, keep keep your eyes open on the Bengals this year then for sure. <laughs> yes, sir, uh, yeah. <laughs> man, no doubt. Uh, and what, uh, preseason, you know what I'm saying? We definitely going to be tuned in. You know what I'm saying? Definitely got to run it back, have you guys on the show again. Definitely an honor. Thank you so yeah. much. Shout out to everybody that's been tuning in, locking in. You know what I'm saying? I definitely appreciate Thank y'all. Thank you, brother. Anytime, man. Thanks for having me having me appreciate it absolutely you have a good day man all right later